In this video, we demonstrate the technique for water immersion or water exchange colonoscopy and also demonstrate an underwater polyp detection. Multiple randomized controlled trials have suggested that water exchange colonoscopy reduces patient discomfort, speeds the time to reach the cecum, aids with bowel cleansing, and improves adenoma detection likely due to the cleansing effect. There are a few tips and tricks for performing water immersion or water exchange colonoscopy. First of all, water exchange colonoscopy is defined as the combination of water immersion plus suctioning of dirty water during the procedure. This is best done using an integrated water pump and then using the colonic circular folds to guide the scope towards the lumen, as shown in the di diagram at the bottom of the screen where the circular folds always point to the center of the lumen, even if the lumen is not immediately visible. Here we demonstrate the technique after the scope has been inserted and is being passed through the sigmoid colon. Here we have both circular and longitudinal folds. Although the colon is only minimally distended with water, we can see the direction of the lumen by following this fold pattern. This also makes the procedure more comfortable for the patient and keeps the colon a shorter length, which likely explains how the procedure is associated with more rapid insertion into the cecum. In this case, the integrated water pump is being used to constantly infuse clean water and any dirty water is being suctioned at the same time to ensure a highly proficient bowel preparation, even if the baseline bowel preparation is imperfect. We're also using the torque steering method. So instead of using the dials to tip deflect into the up, down, left, and right, we're typically only deflecting into the up position and then adjusting the direction of passage of the endoscope by torquing it so that the up direction is always towards the center of the lumen. Here we can see the water jet continuing to insert water. And we've just passed a polyp. Now we can back up and notice the magnifying effect of the water at highlighting this polyp. Here using both white light and narrow band imaging to define the characteristics of this polyp, which is likely a small tubular adenoma. We can use the near focus feature to produce even more magnification of this small four to five millimeter polyp. Our team at the Mayo Clinic in Florida includes multiple experts in advanced colonic imaging and advanced methods for colon polyp resection. For patients or physicians who wish to refer their patients for colonoscopy at Mayo Clinic, our referral information is shown here.